Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl Karen, aka Cakes with a BK, and welcome back to my channel. Look what I got in the mail last night. As I'm sure you can tell by the title today, we're gonna be talking all about Rem Beauty chapter three. <laughs> this chapter is all about the luscious, luscious lips. I did receive this in PR from the brand. However, that does not affect my review of this collection. If anything, it makes me more critical. We are going over everything from formulations, new products, price points, swatches. We got a lot to cover, so let's go ahead and get started. First and foremost, most, let's talk about what this chapter consists of. It is a bunch of lip products because that is the sole focus for this third chapter. First off, we have the Everything Nice Lip Balm. This is a dewy formula with a lip enhancement system known to promote fuller looking lips. Next up, we have the Essential Drip Lip Oils. This claims to be a mega glossy lip oil that drenches lips in a nourishing shine. There are four different scents slash flavors. First up, we have Mint Condition, which is a sheer blue with a minty scent and menthol. Then we have Pick and Petals, which is a sheer peachy pink with a rosy scent and chamomile. Third is the Raspberry Drip, and it's a sheer raspberry pink with a raspberry scent and ashwagandha. And lastly, we have Lavender Kiss, which is a sheer cool lavender with white tea scent and lavender extract. Next up, we have the At The Borderline Lip Liner Pencils. Now, I can't remember if chapter one had lip pencils. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think they did, but we're still gonna go over everything with this launch. There are 10 total shades for the At The Borderline Lip Pencils. However, I only received four, so we're just gonna be going over those four. I received the shade Harmonies, which is a honey beige nude. Lyrics, which is a chestnut rose. Reverb, which is a chocolate brown and 808s, which is a bright blue red. Then we have two different lipstick formulations. One is a classic lipstick and one is a liquid lipstick. Let's go over the classics first. The classic lipsticks claim to have vivid color with one stroke application. There are 10 shades, but I received four, so we'll be going over those four. First, we have Lingerie, which is a pink honey nude. Then we have Cuddly, which is a rich red brown. CEO, which is a deep burgundy and Attention, which is a bright blue-red. Here are the swatches all together. And last but not least, we have her on the color Liquid Lipsticks, which I am personally most excited to try. The way she talks about this formula, it seems like everything that I would want in a liquid lipstick, so I am just itching to swatch these on my lips. The On Your Color Liquid Lipstick is a supercharged hydrating color that lasts up to 16 hours. There are nine shades, but again, I only got four, so we're gonna be testing those four out. This first one is in the shade Hottie, which is a brown nude. Then we have Yum, which is a chestnut rose. We have Absolutely, which is a rich chocolate brown. And lastly, we have Diva, which is a pink-based red. More swatches. The ones on the right are after some more dry down time. All right, you guys, let's talk about my final thoughts. I'm filming this clip a few days after I've already tried everything. So these final thoughts are based less on my first impressions and more on me using these products for the last few days. First up is the lip balm. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to pass on this because I feel like there are just so many on the market already that are amazing and this just wasn't doing anything for me. Also not a huge fan of the pink glitter that she decided to put in here. It's not a huge deal, but to me the whole concept just feels a lot like kids makeup or Claire's makeup that I used to see back in the day. Also side note, I said this on TikTok and like people were coming for me. <laughs> but the glitter isn't my biggest issue. My biggest issue is that I just have other lip balms that work better for me. Next are the lip oils. Now, I do really like these because the consistency is a thinner formula. It's not as viscous as other lip oils that I've tried. The scents are very, very minimal. It's more of like an essence. So if you're someone that is sensitive to fragrance, I don't think that the scents are gonna be an issue for you. Personally, I love the amount of scent that's in here. Usually a lot of smells tend to give me headaches. So I'm really happy that the scents are not as powerful as other lip products that I've tried. However, if you do love like a fruity or fun scent, you may not like the fact that the scents aren't that strong. Now let's talk about the applicator on these. She has the metal ball in the applicator, which I feel like is a good idea in theory, but I feel like the execution was just kind of botched. It gathers a lot of product like underneath your lip, like into your mouth. That's just the top lip, not for the bottom lip, but I just feel like they could have made the ball a little bit smaller. I really do like the idea and I love that she's trying to be more innovative. I just dropped it. 
as I was saying, I think it's a really innovative idea and I love how she's trying to be different with her packaging and just trying to set herself apart from other brands. I just wish it worked a little bit better. But I do think there are people out there that are going to appreciate this aspect. The lip liners. I would pass on these because I'm not a huge fan of the formula. Three out of the four lip liners that I tried were really, really hard and they just did not glide onto my lips the way I like a lip liner to apply. I will say formulas like these are more long lasting. However, I prefer a creamier formula for my lip liners and I found that the red one that I received had a better formula than the other three. Honestly, that's a con in my book because your products should be consistent throughout every single shade. Since I only got four shades, I'm not sure if the majority of the lip liners have that more hard formula or the more creamy formula. But I also have used other lip liners that are cheaper and perform better, so I just feel like because of that, I'm going to pass on these. Let's talk about the classic lipsticks. These are a yes for me because it truly does live up to the claim that it is a one swipe application. But that is with the exception of CEO, I found that this shade was not as opaque as the other ones, probably because it's a darker shade. So I would just be weary if you're looking into buying the more deep tones. Very hydrating, very high shine, but because of that, it's not transfer proof. I'm kind of half and half on the packaging because I love the magnetic component, but I feel like... It's so long and I very much prefer like a traditional bullet lipstick, similar to the ones that she came out with in chapter one. But overall, these are a yes, they are so creamy and I love them. And last but not least, let's talk about her liquid lipsticks. I'm very much here for her applicator. I personally love how it's flat. I personally have never seen anything like it. The formula is amazing. It's super lightweight. It is a hydrating liquid lipstick, which I love. It is transfer proof. And I actually wore this liquid lipstick all day at Disneyland and my lips still looked poppin' by the end of the night. Granted, I did reapply about two to three times, but I spent a total of like nine hours at Disney. So applying two to three times, especially after eating and drinking water, amazing. If you're thinking about getting anything from this chapter, let it be the liquid lipsticks. All right, you guys, that concludes my thoughts on Rem Beauty chapter three. Let me know your thoughts on this launch and whether or not you'll be picking anything up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, all that good, good. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.